Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas, bienvenida a la Iglesia de Todos los Santos, welcome to All Saints Church. Mi nombre es Mike Kinman, my name is Mike Kinman, so rector, I am the rector here. Mi pronombre es él, my pronouns are he, him. It is wonderful to have you with us virtually this Christmas as the afternoon turns into the evening, turns into the night. Uh, want to thank Lynn Aponte for being here with us uh, with American Sign Language uh, for us this evening. Uh, it is good for us to be together even in this way on this holy night. Uh, I hope you've downloaded the service leaflet from our website, uh, www.allsaints-pas.org. Uh, click on Christmas uh, because we want you singing along, we want you praying along. We want you to know that wherever you are, you are here and you are with us and we are together this Christmas night. And so wherever you are, let us lift our voices in song and sing, O come all ye faithful.
Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace and goodwill to all. Dios omnipotente, para quien todos los corazones están manifiestos, todos los deseos conocidos y ningún secreto encubierto, purifica los pensamientos de nuestros corazones con la inspiración de tu Santo Espíritu, para que perfectamente te amemos y dignamente celebremos la grandeza de tu Santo Nombre, por Cristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Dios habita en ustedes y también contigo. Oremos. Oh Dios, que has hecho resplandecer esta noche santa con la claridad de la luz verdadera. Concede a los que hemos conocido el misterio de esa luz en la tierra, que también nos gocemos de él plenamente en el cielo, donde vive y reina contigo y el Espíritu Santo, un solo Dios en gloria eterna. Amén. Lectura de Isaías. En la aflicción te buscamos, Señor, cuando nos corriges con un simple murmullo. Delante de ti estábamos, Señor, como cuando una mujer encinta se le acerca el momento del parto y se retuerce y grita de dolor. Concebimos, sentimos los dolores del parto y dimos a luz, pero no era más que viento. No hemos traído la salvación al país, ni van a ser gente que pueble el mundo. Pero tus muertos sí volverán a vivir, sus cadáveres resucitarán. Los que duermen en la tierra se despertarán y darán gritos de alegría, porque tú envías tu luz como rocío y los muertos volverán a nacer de la tierra. Escuchen lo que dice el Espíritu al pueblo de Dios. Demos gracias a Dios. Sing to God, sing praises to her name. Exalt her who rides upon the clouds. Holy is her name, rejoice before her. Mother of orphans and defender of widows is God in her holy habitation. God settles the solitary in a home bringing prisoners into prosperity where the rebellious shall live in a wasteland. God, when you marched before your people, when you moved out through the wilderness, The earth shook, even the heavens poured down, at the presence of God, the one of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Rain in abundance, God, you showered abroad. When your heritage grew weary, you prepared rest. Your creatures found a dwelling in her. God, you provided in your goodness for the oppressed. The author of life gave the word. The women who proclaim the good news are a great army.
good news of Jesus as written in Luke. Now it happened in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered for taxation. This was the first registration and occurred while Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be registered, each to their own towns. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem for he was from the house and heritage of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was betrothed and who was pregnant. So it was that while they were there, the time came for her to birth the child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and swaddled him and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Shepherds were in that region there, staying in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Most High God came upon them, and the glory of the living God shone around them, and they were greatly terrified. But the angel said to them, Fear not, look, for I proclaim to you good news of great joy for all the people. For there is born to you this day a Savior who is the Messiah, the sovereign God in the city of David. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby swaddled and lying in a manger. And immediately there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly array, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among peoples whom God favors. And it happened when the angels had departed from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to be, which is the sovereign God has made known to us. So they came hurrying and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Now seeing this, they made known what had been spoken to them about this child. And all who heard marveled at what was spoken by the shepherds to them. But Mary preserved all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as it had been told them. This is the gospel of the Savior. Praise to you, O Christ. As I was ready to write a reflection on this passage of the scripture, 
I came to the conclusion that it is so challenging to preach on the narratives of the birth of Jesus with a fresh perspective, especially when we as preachers have to do it year after year. Mientras escribía mi reflexión sobre este pasaje de las Escrituras, llegué a la conclusión de que es muy difícil predicar sobre las narrativas del nacimiento de Jesús con una nueva perspectiva, especialmente cuando nosotros como predicadores tenemos que hacerlo año tras año. So, after I was reading Luke's account of the nativity over and over again, I was puzzled by this specific verse. No place for them in the inn. No place for them in the inn. Así que después de leer el relato de Lucas, el escritor de este evangelio, sobre la natividad una y otra vez, me llamó la atención este versículo específico, donde dice, no había lugar para ellos en la posada. No había lugar para ellos en el mesón. So this specific verse has probably been one of the most used in Luke's account to inspire the Christian imagination over the centuries. Este verso específico ha sido probablemente uno de los más utilizados en el relato de Lucas para inspirar la imaginación cristiana a lo largo de los siglos. This specific verse, no place for them in the inn, has inspired thousands of Christmas sermons, liturgies, and songs. Este verso específico, no había lugar para ellos en la posada, ha inspirado miles de sermones de Navidad, liturgias y canciones. This specific verse has inspired generations of poets, musicians, and artists trying to comprehend the mystery that embraces the Christmas event. Este específico verso ha inspirado generaciones de poetas, músicos y artistas tratando de comprender el misterio que abraza el acontecimiento navideño. In this nativity account, Luke does not give us any more details except that there is no place for Joseph and Mary in the inn. In este relato de la natividad en Lucas, él no nos da más detalles excepto que no había lugar para José y María en la posada. We just can imagine, we can only presume to imagine the unfolding scene around this specific verse. Podemos imaginar, solo podemos presumir imaginar la escena que se desarrolla alrededor de este verso específico. We can see Joseph and Mary so tired and exhausted from traveling the dusty roads in the extreme, intense desert heat on their way to the city of David called Bethlehem, to fulfill what the prophet Micah once proclaimed, by you, O Bethlehem, Ephrata, are only a small village among all the people of Judah, yet a ruler of Israel will come from you. Podemos imaginar esta travesía de José y María, tan cansados y agotados de recorrer los polvorientos caminos en el extenso, extremo, intenso calor del desierto en su camino a la ciudad de David, llamada Belén, para cumplir lo que el profeta Miqueas una vez proclamó. Pero tú, oh Belén, Efrata, eres solo un pequeño pueblo entre todo el pueblo de Judá. Sin embargo, un rey de Israel vendrá de ti. We can only imagine how tired Joseph and Mary were after walking a substantial distance on foot. Solo podemos imaginar lo cansados que estaba José y María después de caminar una distancia sustancial a pie. They probably had a donkey as a way of transportation. 
but we will never know. Luke never mentioned it in his account. Probablemente tenían un burro como una forma de transporte, pero nunca lo sabremos. Lucas nunca lo menciona en su relato. So the distance from Nazareth to Bethlehem is a little more than 100 miles, similar to the distance to a ram treat from Pasadena to Fontana. I've been driving a lot, so, so you can imagine. La distancia de Nazaret a Belén, Belén es un poco más de 100 millas similar a la distancia de un viaje de ida y vuelta de Pasadena a Fontana. Even for our modern standards, to complete such a journey on foot will take a few days. Incluso para nuestros estándares modernos, para completar un viaje de este tipo a pie, nos tomaría unos días. We can only presume to imagine that Joseph and Mary arrived to the desolated town of Bethlehem at night time under the dark sky full of shining stars with dogs barking in the distance and the beautiful sound of crickets all around them as they approach the inn. Solo podemos presumir e imaginar que José y María llegaron a la ciudad desolada de Belén por la noche bajo el cielo oscuro lleno de estrellas brillantes, con perros ladrando a lo lejos y el hermoso sonido de los grillos a su alrededor mientras se acercaban a la posada. We only know by Luke's account that when they arrived there was no place for them in the inn. Solo sabemos por el relato de Lucas que cuando llegaron no había lugar para ellos en la posada. But despite our historical images regarding the Christmas scene that illustrates for us, we cannot take the picture that Luke has given us in this account too far. Pero a pesar de lo que nuestras imágenes históricas sobre la escena navideña ilustran para nosotros, no podemos tomar la imagen completa de lo que Lucas nos está dando en su relato hasta ahora. Luke is so brief in describing the birth of Jesus. Lucas es muy breve al describir el nacimiento de Jesús. We just know that while Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, Mary gave birth to her first son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger. Solo sabemos que mientras José y María estaban en Belén, María dio a luz a su primogénito y lo envolvió en bandas de tela y lo puso en un pesebre. Luke doesn't give us more details. We are not told why there was no place for them in the inn. And the innkeeper is never mentioned. Lucas no nos da más detalles. No solamente nos dice que no había lugar para ellos en la posada. Y el posadero nunca se menciona. So, so what was the message that Luke is trying to convey when he mentioned that there was no place for them in the inn? Entonces, ¿cuál fue el mensaje que Lucas está tratando de transmitir cuando mencionó que no había lugar para ellos en la posada? Maybe no place for them in the inn could be seen as a parable of the human soul. soul. Tal vez no había lugar para ellos en la posada puede ser visto como una parábola del alma humana. Perhaps it can be a parable or how we embrace God within ourselves. Tal vez puede ser una parábola de cómo abrazamos a Dios dentro de nosotros mismos. Perhaps it can be a parable in how we offer our own hospitality to God. Tal vez puede ser una parábola en la forma en que ofrecemos Nuestra propia hospitalidad a Jesús, a Dios. So, I wonder, I wonder, what are the ways in which we close ourselves off to the possibilities that are presented in front of us to welcome 
and receive the incarnate God. Entonces me pregunto, ¿cuáles son las formas en que nos cerramos nosotros a las posibilidades de que se presentan frente a nosotros para acoger y recibir al Dios encarnado? Sometimes our fears, insecurities, or anxieties close us off to the possibilities of seeing a Jesus who comes to meet us. A veces nuestros temores, inseguridades o ansiedades nos cierran a las posibilidades de ver a un Jesús que viene a nuestro encuentro, que viene a encontrarnos. But the good news that this gospel proclaims is that despite our inability to notice, to be open, to be present, God comes to meet us where, where we least expect it. Pero la buena noticia que proclama este evangelio es que a pesar de nuestra incapacidad para notar, de estar abiertos, de estar presentes, Dios viene a encontrarnos donde menos esperamos. And Jesus meet us in those surprising and unexpected expected moments. Y Dios viene a nuestro encuentro en estos momentos sorprendentes e inesperados. Jesus come to meet us in the smile of a child in the love of our friends, in the love of our families, in the love of our community. Jesus come to meet us in a random act of kindness toward us. Y Jesús viene a nuestro encuentro en la sonrisa de un niño, en el amor de nuestros amigos, familiares, en el amor de nuestra comunidad, en un acto inesperado de bondad hacia nosotros. So I invite you to be open, to notice This God divine presence in our midst. Así que los invito a estar abiertos, a notar la presencia divina de este Dios en medio de nosotros. When the angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds and gave them, and gave them the good news that the Savior, the Messiah, the Lord was born in the city of David, the shepherds went looking for the child and they went to find, they went to find the incarnate God. Cuando el ángel del Señor se apareció a los pastores y les dio la buena noticia de que el Mesías había nacido en la ciudad de David, los pastores fueron a buscar al niño y fueron a buscar al Dios encarnado. It was their own initiative to embark on the journey to Bethlehem. Fue su propia iniciativa embarcarse en su viaje a Belén. So, can we take the same initiative Open our doors and go where God come to us. Así que podemos tomar la misma iniciativa, abrir nuestras puertas e ir a donde Dios viene a nosotros. Can we be truly open and say, there is a place for you here. Podemos estar verdaderamente abiertos y decir, hay un lugar para ti aquí. On this Christmas Eve, I invite you to know that it is possible to do this. En esta noche buena, los invito a que sepan que es posible hacer esto. Today, I invite you to say, come, baby Jesus, come. We have been waiting for you. Hoy los invito a decir, ven, niño Dios, ven, niño Jesús, te hemos estado esperando. Come, baby Jesus. You have a place in my heart. Ven, niño Dios. Ven, niño Jesús. Tú tienes un lugar en mi corazón. Come, baby Jesus, and stay with me. Ven, niño Jesús, y quédate conmigo. Amén. Radiant, glorious God, creator of all that is, we join our voices with the songs of angels this holy night to praise your name for all of life, for pain and pleasure, for success and failure, for sorrow and joy. Amen. 
God of the unexpected, who graced a humble stable with your most extraordinary child, Jesus. We are awed by the generosity of your gift. God of limitless energy, inspire the leaders of this community, the nation, and the world with hope that they may seek ways for all people to prosper in peace. Compassionate God, wrap the world with your love, that all victims of violence, illness, trouble, or despair may be sheltered and released from all adversity. Loving God, move us beyond our fears and prejudices into the light of your love, where we may rest secure and risk great things in your name. Let us confess our sins before God. We need your healing, merciful God. Give us true repentance. Some sins are plain to us. Some escape us. Some we cannot face. Forgive us. Set us free to hear your word to us. Set us free to serve you. Through Christ, God has put away our sin. Let us approach God in peace. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. La paz, 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 peace everyone, peace, Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to everyone, welcome to All Saints Church, it is wonderful that you are here wherever you are, that you are here and part of us together celebrating Christmas at All Saints Church. Um, if you, are, if you are new to All Saints, um, and, and something I also realize is that Christmas is a time where sometimes people who have been away from church communities for a while and maybe have been really wounded by church communities uh, think they're going to take a step and maybe try again. And if that describes you, first of all, thank you for your courage uh, in wading back into a place uh, that frankly church has damaged people. And we're so grateful that you would try All Saints as a place where maybe you can find love. And we guarantee you, you're going to find love here. And we'd love to learn more about you and have you learn more uh, about All Saints Church. And a great way to do that is just go to our website, uh, allsaints-pas.org, and click on the welcome button. And that'll take you to an online uh, guest card, visitor card. Give us some basic information. We can be in touch with you. Uh, find out what drew you into the orbit of All Saints Church uh, and figure out how we can get better acquainted and maybe how you can enter uh, more deeply into the life of this community. I want to give special thanks to Lynn Aponte for uh, doing our translation here this evening. Uh, thanks to Gary Leonard. I know uh, Keith is going to be panning across uh, the decorations of this church. Gary has done his usual amazing job getting the sanctuary ready for Christmas. So uh, thank you, thank you, Gary, for all the work that you've done. Uh, tonight at 10 o'clock, uh, same channel, we have our festive Eucharist. We'll have uh, Canterbury and Coventry Choir and Chamber Orchestra from years past, directed by Wei Chung Zhao. Uh, I'll be preaching live, not recorded. Uh, tomorrow, Christmas Day at 10.30, we have another bilingual Spanish-English service. Uh, Dan Cole and his ensemble will offer music. Sally Howard will be preaching. Uh, and then this coming Sunday, uh, used to gather, or we usually gather and sing Christmas carols. 
can't really do that this year, but we're blessed that Bill Cunliff is gonna be with us and we're going to have jazz Christmas matins, an hour of wonderful jazz Christmas music from 10 to 11 o'clock. Please be with us then. And then on New Year's Eve, we'll have a service at 7.30 with poetry and a, a meditation and, and song and we'll share bread and wine together and we will say goodbye to this year uh, and look in hope to 2021. Uh, just a reminder that our staff is off tomorrow through Monday for the Christmas holiday. We'll be back online Tuesday and Wednesday, the 29th and the 30th for year-end business. Um, and finally, on this night of so much beauty and joy, I want to say thank you for the many, many ways that you have given to the All Saints community in the past year. Uh, it may be a phone call, it may be a letter written, it may be reaching out to someone, it may be helping with our safe haven program, and it may be writing a check or a financial gift to All Saints Church. Uh, your gifts of love are what makes this church. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and if you feel moved to make uh, another gift, a financial gift to All Saints Church in gratitude for everything this community is and can be, I uh, encourage you to do that. All you gotta do is go to the website, click on that red donate button, uh, and it will take you to a place to make uh, a special gift. Uh, whatever you can give is deeply grateful. Mostly we are grateful for your presence and the offering of your life and love in this place. Merry Christmas. Sally? And now we turn our attention to this table Quien quiera que seas, y donde quiera que te encuentras en tu camino de fe, siempre estás bienvenido, bienvenida, a la mesa de Cristo para recibir los regalos de pan y vino sagrado. Whoever you are and wherever you find yourself on the journey of faith and life, you are welcome to come to Christ's table to receive the gifts and of bread and wine made holy. Por tanto, amigas y amigos, les ruego por la misericordia de Dios que se presenten ustedes mismos como ofrenda viva, santa y agradable a Dios. Este es el verdadero culto que deben ofrecer. Dear friends, I appeal to you by the mercies of God to present yourselves as a living offering, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. When the song of the angels is dead, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes Oh.
Dios habita en ustedes. Eleven los corazones. Demos gracias a Dios nuestro Señor. Con maravilla y gratitud celebramos tu creación de todo lo que es tu encarnación en Jesucristo y tu inspiración por medio del Espíritu Santo. Jesus Christ, the light which shines for all, has come into the world, and Christ has become one with us, that we may become one with you. Por tanto, con ángeles y arcángeles, y con toda la multitud del cielo, alabamos y magnificamos tu glorioso nombre, en sacerdote siempre y cantando. and gracious God, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and creator of all. Jesus extendió sus brazos sobre la cruz y se ofreció en obediencia a tu voluntad, una ofrenda perfecta para todo el mundo. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Después de la cena tomó el caliz y dándote gracias se lo entregó y dijo, Beben todos de él, este es mi sangre del nuevo pacto, sangre derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Siempre que lo beben, háganlo como memorio mío. Por tanto, proclamamos el misterio de fe, Cristo ha muerto, Cristo ha resucitado, Cristo volverá. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O oh God, in this offering of praise and thanksgiving, recalling Christ's life, death, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in Christ. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Torcesto pedimos por Jesucristo por en whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Y ahora, como nuestro Salvador Jesucristo nos enseñó, en el lenguaje de nuestro corazón, nos atrevemos a decir, Madre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga tu reino, Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdamos a quienes nos ofenden. No nos dais caer en tentación y líbranos del mal, porque tú es el reino, tú es el poder y tú es la gloria, ahora y por siempre. Amén.
Hallelujah. We are one bread, one body. The gifts of God for the people of God. That as we gather and eat together, whether we are by ourselves or with those we love and care about, we know that the risen Christ is present in the breaking of the bread. Amen. And now, holy God, here we are again. (laughs) Send us anywhere you would have us go, only go there with us. Place upon us any burden you desire, only stand by us to sustain us. And break any tie that binds us, except the tie that binds us to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, creating, redeeming, and sustaining be with you, those you love, serve, and challenge, this Christmas and always. Amen.
Christ is born, let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.